Welcome to the Chemistry, Biology and Math Revision Hub. Today we are doing the Pearson Ed Excel International AS Biology Practicals and this is Core Practical 2, investigating the vitamin C content of a food or a drink. In this experiment, the CPIP solution is used. We need to know that vitamin C is an antioxidant and it reduces DCPIP, causing a color change. When DCPIP is reduced, the color can change from blue to colorless. However, if solutions are acidic, there is a chance that it's going to turn pink. So you need to know those colors. In this experiment, we'll refer to a vitamin C sample whose concentration is known, and then we'll use that to calculate the concentration of vitamin C in an unknown sample. So I set up some two test tubes here. So we'll begin by adding one centimeter cubed of DCPIP to two test tubes. If this is test tube 1 and that is test tube 2, we will add 1 cm cubed of DCPIP solution to each of the test tubes. And then we will add 5 cm cubed of vitamin C, meaning of known concentration, to a clean syringe and 5 cm cubed of the unknown solution to another clean syringe. And then we'll slowly carry out an experiment as we can see here. You will use a syringe to release vitamin C solution whose concentration is known into the test tube containing one centimeter cubed of DCPIP solution. And with every drop, you are going to check to see if there is decolorization of the DCPIP solution. So release dropwise until the DCPIP solution is decolorized. And then note the volume of the vitamin C solution that has been released in order to decolorize the sample. So you do the same thing for the other experiment. And again to another test tube with one centimeter cubed of DCPIP Use a syringe containing 5 cm cubed and add the unknown vitamin C sample drop by drop as you shake until the sample is decolorized or until it turns pink if it's acidic. Then also record the volume of the unknown sample that has been used from the syringe and then carry out a calculation as below. So before we calculate, we have to know two facts. Since both test tubes contain the same concentration of DCPIP, they had the same moles of DCPIP and therefore they have reacted with the same number of moles of vitamin C. No matter how much volume each has reacted with, if they are decolorized, it means they have reacted with the same moles of vitamin C. So that means the moles of vitamin C that must have reduced the CPIP in each test tube are equal. So we can say number of moles is equal to concentration times volume. And since that is true, the moles that are reacted in this test tube are concentration one times volume one, if this is test tube one, and the moles here are concentration 2 times volume 2 because this is test tube 2. So since these moles are equal, it means concentration 1 times volume 1 is equal to concentration 2 times volume 2. And therefore, I can equate them. And since I'm looking for concentration 2 because I did not know the concentration of vitamin C in that sample, I can make this the subject and then substitute. Concentration 2 will be concentration of the first sample times the volume of the first sample divide by the volume that has come from the second sample. And again, C1 is the concentration of vitamin C, which was known. V1 is the volume from the syringe with test tube 1. And V2 is the volume from the syringe of the unknown sample. If I substitute this in this equation, I can be able to find the concentration of a vitamin C content in a specific sample, which could be in a food or a drink. So this brings us to the end of this video, which was determining the concentration of vitamin C content in a food or a drink. Thank you for being with us. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.